What's going on guys, it's your boy KC. We are here with another training video for NBA Live Mobile. This one is going to focus specifically on the auction house and the store. So the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna jump over to the store over here, show you a good overlook of how it works. So there are going to be packs and bundles available for real money. You can buy for coins, you can buy with cash, and you can buy with rep. Those are the four methods of purchasing from the store. So you can see right away we've got that NBA Live Starter Pack. It is $2.79 to purchase it outright, and it gives you a specific amount of items. Next to that, we have some bundles over here that are going to be available for cash only. There are packs, the Sharpshooter Packs, the Special Promo Packs, tend to be cash only. If we go a little bit further, you can see the Pro Pack here is available for cash or for coins and then you've got the beginner pack available for coins or for rep. So there are going to be promo tabs here. We've got the fall festival tab still available. Then you've got your base packs. These are basically any normal packs. You can see there's also the triple double pack in this tab that is uh, available for coins or for cash. Bundles, these are all of the bundles available. You can see that sharpshooter bundle, that fall bundle, and you can see these pro pack bundles. There are different rates. You get a stamina boost with them. Um, when you buy a specific amount or more. Then lastly, there are these play styles. These are to build out your NBA and classic lineups. If you are looking for specific players from specific lineups, this is a way to get them. They are available again for coins or for cash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the packs here. We're gonna open up a few of these packs, see what we get, and then we're gonna go over to the auction house and do a small little tutorial there. So we get Kyle Singler, Thomas Sadaransky, and Sheldon Mack. We are going to try this triple double pack. These seem to have a higher pull rate of elites. It says there's an increased chance on the pack. I have found that they usually work pretty well. We get a bunch of gold, silvers, and bronzes as we are supposed to. Um, nothing special out of that pack. You can see that there's a divide between classic players and NBA players. There is no way to specifically get just classic players or NBA players out of these packs. However, if you go to the playstyle packs, this is where you are going to be able to choose what you want. So these balanced playstyle packs are only going to be NBA players from the balanced lineup. So you can see we get a Doc Rivers, we get David Burtons, we get Malik Monk and Mario Chalmers. So this one guarantees you one gold player and a coach. We got two gold players and a gold coach, so that's a pretty decent pack. If we go to the shooting playstyle packs, we are going to open this up. Richard Jefferson, Thabo Cephalosha, Kenneth Reed, and Nancy Lieberman. So we get another double gold pack plus a silver coach. You now have the defensive play style pack. We get a few players here. We get Sandarius Thornwell, Juan Hernan Gomez, Omri Caspi, and JB Bickerstaff. Is that it? Yeah, I think it's JB Bickerstaff. Um, so again, we get that one was the worst pack. We got two silver players, a silver coach, and a gold player. That gold player is guaranteed, and that silver coach is guaranteed. Now the power play style pack and the run and gun style pack. These are specifically classic players, so you cannot pull any of the NBA players. We get a Jerry Stackhouse, two Rafe LaFrenzes, and a Bill Lambeer. And then if we go to the run and gun play style pack, same thing. You cannot pull any NBA players out of these, only classic players. We get Michael Cooper, Chris Mullen, Eddie Jordan, and Jason Williams. So we don't actually pull any elites out of these packs. Let's just try our hand at one more triple double pack, just because I like these packs. These uh, these seem to work well for me sometimes. So Austin River, Brendan Haywood, Tariq Black, Isaiah. Oh, there we go. Let's go. We get our elite player, Dennis Schroeder. I am very happy with that. Now I can show you exactly how the auction house works. Because we pulled our elite player, I'm happy with that. You don't get them that often, honestly, but when you do, it's nice. So if we're going to go over here, we're going to open up the tab to the left, and you're going to see down at the bottom auctions. This is available as of level 11, so there is a little bit of grinding to do, but once you get there, you can make use of what you have. Now, if we jump over, there are three tabs, so you can see my bids. I don't have any currently, but it's if you place a bid on a player, they will show up here. So I'm going to show you that real quick. Let's go over, let's just see a bronze player. The price, the current bid, we're going to say the minimum of 100, and we're going to see, so Isaiah Whitehead, this one's going for 100 coins right now. So we just tap this place bid at the right, tap that, you'll see it'll reduce my coins by 100. Now if we go over to my bids, there it is. It shows me as the highest bidder. 
if I get outbid, I will get a notification in my message center and I will be able to come to my bids and collect my coins back and bid again if I so choose. Next we have my auctions. <clears throat> Excuse me, I already have a player on here. We've got Blake Griffin. Pulled him a little earlier in the day, posted him. We're going to do the same thing for Dennis Schroeder so that I can show you exactly how that works. And then browse, you've seen that already. So, now we go over to the search tool. This search tool you can search by player name. You can search by overall. You can do a specific overall limit if you want. If I want to search for, you know, just 80s and 81s, I can put my minimum as 80, my max is 81, and that'll just find me every player in the game who is an 80 or an 81. Next, you've got your team. So if we tap this, you can see every single team in the league is available to be selected. You can select multiple teams if you want. You can select one team. You can select no teams. Next, there's position. This is your standard point guard through center. Again, you can select any one player or all of them. There's also a tick mark at the top right where you can select all of them or none of them automatically. Um, next, we are going to see the type. So again, I can reset that. You can select just silvers and golds if you want. You can select just players by deselecting the collectibles. Anything you want there, it's very customizable. Gameplay style, these are your lineups um, or your gameplay styles. If you prefer anyone who's played last season probably still refers to them as lineups. But here again, you can select from multiple, you can select all, you can select none. It's very customizable. The price, you can select your current bid or you can select by buy it now. You can't do both, but you can do one or the other. So let's say we want players that are, you know, 2,500 coins exactly. We can save that. We can search that. This is everything available for 2,100 coins, 2,500 coins. So you can do that with anything you want. And lastly, there is program. You can search specifically by program. You cannot choose multiple programs simultaneously. This is the only one where you can only choose one specific program at a time. So that's everything, but we are going to go look at the price of Dennis Schroeder. So if I type in Dennis, that's going to give me more than just Dennis Schroeder. You can see there's Dennis Smith Jr. There's Dennis Schroeder. There may be other Dennis's in here. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there we go. We get the classic card over here is Dennis Johnson. Yeah, I believe it is Dennis Johnson. So there are multiple Dennis's available. We specifically want this Dennis Schroeder over here. So if we go back into the search, now if I put in elite players, take off the collectibles, I can search this. We're going to get Dennis Smith Jr. We're going to get Dennis Schroeder. We want to spe specify what we're looking for even more. So there are a couple of ways to do this. I can go by team and I can search just the Atlanta Hawks. And there you go. All we get is Dennis Schroeder. What I could also do is I could search by minimum of an 81 overall because we saw that Dennis Smith Jr. was an 80. If we do that, we get Dennis Rodman also, who's an 81 overall. So that actually doesn't work. We can also, if we want, search by gameplay style. We know that he is of the balanced gameplay. This is going to give me just Dennis Schroeder for now. New players are released all the time and with different promos. If we get auctionable Dennis Schroeder, he might get like a team of the week card that might be auctionable. Who knows? There could be other Dennis's that drop. Um, so they might fall under the same category as a few others. So there may be multiple filters that you need to use to find the specific card that you are looking for. You can also search by program, like I said. So if he came out as a legend, you could search the legend tab or the legend symbol and just search by legend cards. Um, but that is basically all we have. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sell that Dennis Schroeder that we pulled. So the cheapest one up here is 95,000 coins, but the next cheapest is 127. I have a feeling that, you know, 115 may sell. So we're going to try to maximize the amount of coins that I get in return for this card. So we're going to put them up for a starting bid of 110,000 coins and a buy it now price of 115,000. One mistake that you do not want to make is that button that says sell for 500 coins at the left. That's the quick sell button. If you do that, you are out of a lot of coins. Be very careful. Don't do that because you don't get a confirmation request. It doesn't say, are you sure you want to do this? So other than that, you can buy players. Um, that is the last thing that you can do in the auction house, basically. So if you have a specific player that you want, let's say I want a gold player. Um, there are no gold players available from promos, I believe. But let's say I want a gold player under 2,000 coins. I'm not sure what they're going for at this very moment, but 2,000 seems like it's not a crazy amount. So yeah, so there are multiple players here. Matthew Della Vidova, Kyle Singler. 
if I want any of these guys, I tap on the player I want. Instead of place bid, hit that buy now. So we're going to just buy Jordan Crawford over here. If I tap that buy now, you can see that it gets grayed out. I'm holding the button right now. I let go. Boom. You, uh, well, it didn't actually buy it, but if you just tap it, you'll buy it. So it shows you your purchase price of 2,000 coins. I can hit continue. I can go to home. I can go to my team. If I go to my shooting guards and I scroll, there's my Jordan Crawford right over here. That's the player that I just bought. He'll show up on your bench. And that is basically it. That's the auction house. That's the store. That's pretty much everything that you can do in the auction house and the store. If you guys have any questions that I have not answered or anything that you want to be made more clear, please let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button as well. If you are not subscribed, come join the Splash Squad. We're going to do a lot of NBA Live mobile videos. This is a specific training segment. I do pack openings also. I do gameplay videos as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace!